One of my clients, Jumiko Design, hired me for the interior shoot of this beautiful house located in Shah Alam, Malaysia. And this episode is dedicated to sharing with you what I learned from this shoot. Is it okay now? I suspect this is not how you learn. Ah, uh, you have to turn the chair ah, towards the camera. Turn the chair to the camera a little bit. That's the interesting thing about interior shoots. If you're gonna spend a lot of money on the furniture, show them. Okay? Mm. Yep, that's better. Right? That side too, right? So I have to turn that way because camera is there. So, alright? Yep, alright. A bit more. Okay. That's great. The biggest problem with interior shoots, the outdoor is always brighter than the interior and can be as much as 10 to 15 stops sometimes depending on the time of the day. So how do you make sure that this is taken care of? Exposure blending. Let's go to the camera and let me put this camera on video mode to illustrate what you see. As you can see, this is overexposed on the window because it's so bright. The only way to counter this is to take multiple shots. So I'm going to start by showing you what happens. Of course, this is on video mode just to show you because if I'm on photo mode, regardless of what I do, it will look the same to you. So back to video mode. Now as I increase my shutter speed, you notice that the interior becomes darker while well, I'm starting to see the exterior now. But what you need to do is to take a series of shots, sometimes as many as 10 shots, and then put them into your editing software and do something called exposure blending. So there are two ways you can do this. The first way is to vary your ISO. And the second way is to vary your shutter speed. Never ever vary your aperture because then your lens would start breathing and you'll be in trouble. So let's go to the first way. The first way, my preferred way, is to vary your ISO instead of the shutter speed. Let me explain why. Because the ISO affects only the sensitivity of brightness of the sensor and nothing else. It doesn't affect the perception of motion, unlike shutter speed, and also the depth of field, like aperture. So my favorite way, if I can, is to change ISO. So I'm on an F number of F4, on a wide angle lens at a shutter speed of 50 and an ISO of 400. We're gonna drop this even more, 200. As you can see, the whole interior now looks very dark. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna make sure that I go on auto focus, auto area, get a good average on the focus and then flip to manual focus. This is so important. That way, my focusing will not vary from shot to shot. I'm going to go on first shot, multiple shot, and sing it's still single shot. But what I'll do is I'll take simultaneously 10 shots. And every time I do one shot, I will change the eye. So I will increase the eye. So, so the interior is going to look brighter and brighter. First shot, increase the eye. So Second shot, increase the ISO, third shot. So you notice that I'm not really fussy how much I turn because you should practice so well that every time you flip your thumb, that's about one stop in the change of your exposure. So we continue this until finally the 10th shot. So what I'm doing now is to shoot from very dark at very low ISO to very high ISO, as high as 3200 on the ISO. Oh, sometimes I even use my flash to make sure that I don't end up getting noise because at very low ISO and under exposure, you may get noise. So the trick to doing this is don't use TTL. That's gonna waste a lot of battery power. I'm gonna flip this to manual mode, bring this down to as low as one over eight. Don't be too strong, otherwise you're gonna see shadow in the interior custard by all this furniture and make sure that the light is bounced to the back of the camera on a wall that is neutral in color as you can see i pull out this wide angle flap here to ensure that when the light is big you get softer light 
the same thing I'm gonna bring down the ISO all the way down to I see negative take one shot good increase the ISO take another shot increase the ISO take another shot increase the ISO take another shot and the last shot the most important trick that I can share with you in this video when you're doing interior shoots bring your own props this can be potted plants framed photos or paintings that you can put on tabletop and even bring your own table lamp so with the table lamps what you can do is that you can put them on empty tabletops and make the color more balanced you know sometimes you need to add a bit of yellow here and there so that the lights won't look too bluish bluish interiors will make the interior look more cool and less welcoming so softening the light warming them up will make the place more welcoming an important tip always show the photos that we are shot to the clients or the producers that way you can ensure that you don't get into the trouble after the photo shoot they say like mm, we don't exactly like these angles the interior angles that you shot didn't exactly cover the places that we actually spend a lot of time and money on so always get visual approval from your clients don't just shoot the shoot like you hired yourself they hired you photography is truly such an interesting hobby and a career Today's shoot is called Interior Photo Shoot. So I hope you continue watching us as we cover more genre. And don't forget, subscribe to our channel and please head on to our website. We're having promos on our e-learning. Oh hey, the All Access account is still available. So hurry, go grab this account because this will allow you to access all our e-learning videos and tutorials, our premium courses, and our masterclass. What's more interesting is that you have access to even our future courses if you maintain subscribe. So quickly go grab yourself before the offer of these accounts are closed off. They're still available now. Go get it quickly. And write to us. This is our email address. Tell us what you want to learn. My name is Andrew Boy. Continue shooting nice pictures. How come the flesh is broken? You guys packed me a broken flesh. You didn't do that. Who did this? Who gave me a broken flesh? Oh man, you guys are amazing. I'm wondering whether I can turn the head now.